right, so, recording live. Continue. We're on episode two, Turnabout Sisters. Literally at the bleak. Yay! Literally the bleak start. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yep, I'm, I'm ready. All right. Oh god, yeah, that is gonna be a hard read. How how are we talking bring. about? Oh god. Beep. Beep. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Busy. Hello, this is Maya. Hey, Maya, it's me. Mia! What's up? You can't call in a while. You wanna take over Mia? So I'm not talking to myself. Um Oh yeah, sure. Uh Mia, what's up? Yeah, I've called in a while. That's, that's my. Oh, never mind. That's Mia. That okay. Oh, sorry, I'm missing. Uh, how have you been? Well, lonely, and it's all your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold Evans for you? Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about this upcoming, about this upcoming trial. About the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping evidence here. I gotcha. So, what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah. It's making it look like a statue. The Thinker. And it also tells you the time. I thought you might, um... <clears throat> I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Now, now. <laughs> you know what it's season. Ah, I should probably tell you. The clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I have to take the clockwork out. Sorry. I put some papers on the inside instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm, well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way. Yeah. Can I come by the office tonight? Let's say 9 o'clock to, to pick it up. I'll be in the pre toll meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner. Something good. Like, burgers. I can really Sushi. go for a good burger. Sushi. <laughs> we may be in Japan, but I'm, all, I'm feeling American. No, 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 no. We're in Los Angeles, Japan. Get it right. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll hit that unusual joint. All right, here's the deal. Okay, sis, see you soon. So in case anyone watching has not figured it out yet, my name is Dane I am joined here today with our dear... Courageous friend Whale Duck, and we're playing hey -o. Right, Ace Attorney. This is episode two. Yep, I'll be waiting, Maya. Beep. Conversation recorded September 5th, 9.27 a.m. When he said papers, um, and he said, I said evidence, I wanted to interject and say, no, it's for smoking. What do you think? <laughs> oh, God, this is just going to be a long haul. September 5th, 8.57pm, oh, yes, the fan call law offices. <clears throat> now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine. The papers. Oh, I'm sorry, but I can't, uh, but I can't give you what I, uh, what I, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I, what I don't have. Miss Faye, you are a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How how could you know? <laughs> you are not con cogniferous of my background. Gathering information is my business, you see. I I should have been more careful. <laughs> my dear Miss Faye, I'm so very sorry. But I'm afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Faye. Wah, wah, wah. Die! <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise? Who's the prince of these? 
<laughs> Look at that face. Such a magnificent, such a magnificent bastard that one. Red, white, blue. The epitome of the American diet. I know, right? September fifth, nine oh eight p.m. Bank Hall offices. Right, you want? Do you want to take the main character, or, do you, or are you okay with me doing so? Uh, I mean, yeah, you, you go ahead, do it. Uh, if anything, I'm a support player. Okay then. No, uh, I'm late. Huh? That's strange. I guess the chief left without me. She said her sister was coming over, so we should all go out for dinner. Hmm. What's that smell? Blood. How can you tell what the blood smells like? Yeah. Actually, bl blood blood can have a distinctive smell. By the way, very distinctive. Really? I mean, I could. I could swear if you if you notice a corpse in the room, it's more or less because it's probably about voided its bowels. Uh, examine, obviously. Let's see. I mean, you say it's because they're void their bowels, but you may not yeah you may not uh, have realized that they've already gone to the bathroom. Fair enough. So to see if Mia, the chief's okay. How... Okay, that's about it. They want, they want you to move. They want you to move towards the door. Well, no, I, I'm inside the office. No, that's further in the door. Oh. There you <laughs> go. Shut your mouth. I smell blood. I think you can take over this lady. It says... Someone's there. Chief? Chief? Chief! It's fitting with the, with the solid snake jokes. It is. Look at those eyes. Who are you? That, that, that. Funk. God damn it, Chief. The strange girl dropped out cold. After lying on the office sofa, I went back to the Chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally, she was cold. You just stole her life force, damn it. We could have rested her. <laughs> we could have rested her, damn it. I'm sorry, I have absorbed life equipped. Chief. <laughs> well, let's see. The shards of glass are scattered on the floor. Seem to be the remains of the glass light stand. I already examined that. Huh? The chief's chair. A simple, functional design. It was pretty good to set in, too. Yeah, let me just note how good the chair is. There's a large Speaking building right here. What's up? Did you know when when uh, did you know when the uh, Reggie Fisa May was still the uh, was still the president of Nintendo? He spent most of his presidency on a subpar chair. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Yep, and then when he finally stepped down and Doug Bowser took over, uh, a lot of people were bitching about it because they noticed that he was sitting on a bad chair in the uh, farewell video. And uh, yeah, like the company who made the chair sent him like a high-end one. Yeah, they kept well, they kept trying to send him a high-end one, but he just found that chair very comfortable. Spend big on the stuff that clients shoes, but keep your own so simple. Ah, that's one way to put it, just make sure you save money. Bookcase. Yep. All the Chief's important documents are packed in here. This is where she filed her case records and recent rulings. Let's see. Phone! Right! I'd better call the police! That's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. Looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Police! Please! Come quickly! Oh, put it together. oh wait, sorry. What was that? Police! <laughs> that is April, I think? Uh, oh yeah, this bitch. She's staring right at the me. Shrieking, the shrieking banshee. I hate her. She's holding a phone in her hand. Oh no, I've been implicated. The bank will let you buy. Everything is written in the chief's alternate handwriting. It's a small office. It makes a good bit of money. Does it? Yay. Does it really? Man, this office has some history to go through. 
Apparently, the chief was never good with machines. All she used the PC was for email. She picked up this Asian model at some garage sale for practically nothing. Yeah, look at look at this fucking thing. This green. That's an exploding dinosaur right there. That, that is a living dinosaur. Okay, back over to the body. Uh, you know. Oh what? look, statue. Yeah, statue first. It's encrusted with dried blood. How ironic that this became the murder weapon again. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what? Wait. So the body, the body was still warm and fading with, uh, or still warm, but the blood on the statue is dry. Well, to be fair, they didn't clean the, they didn't clean it off from the previous case. Oh yeah, right. I forgot about that. Yeah. So th there's now two sets of dried blood. It's hard seeing her like this. If there's any clues here, she was struck on the head with a blunt object. Probably died instantly. I don't think there was blood in this one. What's up? I don't think there was any mentioning of actually like bruised blood in this one. I think it was like yeah, it was a blunt object, but uh, ah, anyways. Well, to be fair, a blunt object tends to leave with blood. Finger added to the court record. Looks like she was actually clocked. Made by Larry Butts. There are some glass shards in the chief's body. Must be pieces of the gla with glass line stand lying broken in the back of the room. You're right, there is some blood, isn't there? I just remembered a clue. Well, I mean, I think I ran out of time. Piece of paper! It must oh. have fallen from me his hand! What could it be? Bugger was on! <laughs> what the hell, man? That's my phone thing, one sec. Alright. So, as everyone could just hear, uh, we have the, we have a nice special music by Temi. What is written in blood on this scrap of paper? Apparently, thing? they just... They hung up. Ah, go figure. Maya, did Mia write this? This piece of paper is received from the department store, dated yesterday. See, so added to the court record. I think that's enough snooping around for now. I'd better call the police. Snooping as usual, I see. Pretty much, yeah. That's Phoenix's specialty. <laughs> Alright. Well, that and Poker, but we'll get into that later. Missing a few screws. I don't use it. <laughs> Why not? Huh? The kids is tampering with evidence. That's dumb. I go to that. Where'd you go? I put it right there on that sofa. That. Very uncomfortable looking leather sofa. I hope she didn't run on me. And then you get knocked out from behind. <laughs> yeah! Don't scare me like that. Um, excuse me, but who are you? I'm a level 10 ninja. Apparently. It's okay. I work here. <laughs> Maya. My Maya Faye. Maya Faye? Maya? So Mia was was writing this girl's name? Maybe I should show her the receipt? I never thought there'd be use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. Talk to me, damn it! What happened? Show her the badge. Show her the badge. Oh. Oh, I mean, I'm about to. She's being shocked and I don't want to disturb what I have to. Um, Always. Excuse me. Can you tell me what happened? Ellipses. <laughs> I, I, I came in, the room was dark. And then I saw and the door. Sis. So she was already dead. What about you? What about you and Chief? She in the boat theater. Sister, I'm I'm her younger sister. And you're here visiting this late at night, at this time of day, in this part of the city. Aurora Borealis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wasn't She's gonna go there immediately. But <laughs> well, that is that is the uh, that's the progression of it, isn't it? it yes, evidence. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes, it, 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 it's the clock. Uh, it was the thinker. Her. All right. Time Hurray. to present evidence. My bad. Badge. God damn I'm, it. I'm sorry, I've never seen that before. Fine. Actually, I think you have. <laughs> she wrote a message with her own blood. That, that, that's my 
behind me! Son of a bitch, paper stole it! <laughs> Why? Why would she write my name? Please. Please, just, just calm down. Why would Sis write my name? Uh oh. Now I've done it. <laughs> Go ahead. Now I'll show you! <laughs> Wee -woo, wee -woo, wee -woo, wee -woo. Oh god, I'm gonna be, <laughs> jo be jokey all night, aren't I? Yes. <laughs> they're on their way here! Sounds like they're coming this way! Freeze! Please! Just gunshots flying everywhere. <laughs> Hillary, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, see? Gumshoe? What an odd name. You can see the report from the building across the way, see? That person say they saw murder. Murder, see? Yeah. Must have been the woman I saw. <laughs> anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Great. That's great. My. I think Gumshoe is more well, like a bumbling idiot uh, voice, if that makes any sense, because that's basically what he is. Oh. Well, you can do that when you're right there, pal. <laughs> You can do it when he's doing his testimony. <laughs> Pure enough. Nah. <laughs> Excuse me! <laughs> this word might hear me anything to you. <laughs> um, that. What? That's my name. The victim drew this here note in her own blood, see? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name, obviously! Case closed! You are out of the precinct, ma'am! We're done here, people! What? We're done here, everyone! Let's go home! We got the kill already! Who saw a cap gun? Who saw a cap gun pointed at her playing Judge Jerry Executioner? I know, right? Maya's younger sister. Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until next morning. My eyes were heavy. I couldn't sleep. Womp womp. I sat around, waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. September 6th, 9.07 a.m. Detention center. Visitor's room. Wow. Most diligent, diligent guard ever right back there. I know, right? They have poor Mia locked up like a criminal. Hey, there she is. Oh. It's you. The lawyer. G good, good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. Um. Are you going to be my attorney? Oh, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, sorry, not How a chance. How much cash Case have closed. you got? <laughs> sorry, <laughs> not a chance. Case closed. You're the killer, obviously. Oh, God. Of course I will. First things first. I better get her cheered up. Yeah, of course I will. Cheer up. Really? Oh, did I say the wrong thing? She looks sadder now. Um, what's wrong? You don't think I can do it? No, no one could. Meh. Who would have believed me? Is you so depressed? Even you, even you found me in the office. You look at me like I'd, like I'd done it. I mean, I have accusatory eyes. Have you not seen my hair? <laughs> Did I look at her like that? Oh no, I never thought. It, it's okay, I understand. I'm just gonna make it a random Scottish, why not? She's a mishmash of nationalities anyways. <laughs> she's, she's of an unoriginal uh, country. <laughs> Uh, and I've also heard about you. Oh god, you're a stalker. Heard? Heard what about me? I I used to stalk us at your windows the other day, you know that? Oh, fun. I was talking to my sister on the phone uh, the other day. Go ahead. <laughs> you you Today... handle both the sisters. Today was my, uh, was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd it go? <clears throat> Random Scottish, why not? Why not? 
It was quite a scene. Laura fine sister. Honestly, I wasn't I was I was on edge the, the entire time. It's been a while. <laughs> so I totally crashed and burned. <laughs> He's a genius. One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types. The only thing you're slacking is experience points. I need to go grind some more goblins. Goblins. Uh, <laughs> sounds like uh sounds like it was fun. I gotta prosecute more goblins. <laughs> Objection! Take that! Well, I'm well I knew how uh, who to go to to if I if I ever got into trouble now. Hey sis, did I ever show you? I have a badge. <laughs> Yay, badgie! I don't know, Maya. I, th I, I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. <laughs> that is, unless you want to be found guilty. But Mia, you bitch! I trusted you! <laughs> That's what she said. Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm so sorry. No, I, I, I didn't mean to assault you. It's okay. It's true, I guess. <laughs> but at the same time, I can't it. just sit back and watch. <laughs> when I think of the person who did this to Mia. I know. Alright, examine the room. Who the fuck is this young chap? The scarred monitor just visited her. She hasn't moved an inch. Are we going to pro this guy? Alright. Might be ex. Um... Oh god. Might be X Twins of Powers. Fair enough. Smile for the camera. Alright. Twins of Powers the castle. Anyways. <laughs> you know, let's talk. Let's talk about Maya. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with that Sorry. outfit? Oh, this? That's what all the acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. What god do you serve? Acolytes? My people in religious training? <laughs> what, is he, what do you do? Oh, it's nothing. Nothing strange, really. We're just sacrificed gods to the old ones. <laughs> I'm a spirit medium in training. A spirit medium? Pretty sure that qualifies as strange. Pretty sure she shouldn't have magic powers. Yeah, I'm a spirit medium. I go down to the shops, I find the spirits, whiskey usually, and I'm bring it to myself. Take it as my medium. <laughs> Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Oh, yes. Well, wow, you cheered up real quickly. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold another piece of evidence if I'm not going to trial. Evidence? Yes. A clock shape like the thinker. One Mary made? How could that have been evidence in a case? Oh, right. She said something about that. Oh, I remember. <clears throat> you want to hear it in her own voice? Her own voice? Yeah. I'm a spirit medium. I can drink her, to, I can drink her alive. Oh, I'm pretty sure I have conversations with this on my cell phone. You recorded it. Yeah, I forgot how to, how to delete those things. Oh, that's one way to do it. Uh, tell me I about have to replace you. myself for every other years because memory keeps clogging up. That sounds about right. So you're an outlet, uh, medium in training. That's right. The fair family, especially women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Oh, so you uh, deal with those kinds of men. Got it. Wait a second. You say the fairy oh, what, family? What heavy drinkers? <laughs> so Mia was into this stuff too? Yeah, of course. She finished the barrel the other day. <laughs> <laughs> she followed, uh, she left the mountain to follow her career, she said. The paddles were first class too. What, did she speak with the dead? She cheated? I had no idea. Hmm. <laughs> Wait. What's the chili? It's a cheating of his evidence. So, what? You're a real, honest-to-goodness spirit medium. 
with ISP and all that? ESP, but oh well. I, I know. I wanted. Training. I know. I wanted. I feel like Nick would mispronounce it and say ESP instead of ESP. Well, can't you contact me as Spirit then? You can just ask her who killed her. You know, cheat the case. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm still in training. Bullshit! I couldn't do it. I couldn't do something on that level. Bullcrap. You're a spirit medium. You drink whiskey. I thought that would be for whiskey. Alright, let's hear your cell phone. Hi! Oh! Just remembered. The detective took my cell phone. Sorry. Detective Gumshoe! Oh, right. Shook's piss at Sky. Of course. <clears throat> Next time I see Detective Dick, I'll ask him for it. Oh, <laughs> I'll rouse your notes so you don't forget, okay? Wouldn't you keep fucking sticky notes on you? Sure, thanks. My <laughs> Where did she pour this out? I mean, I would imagine that uh, they might have like a, a, like, a, like a pen on a chain and some blank stationery at the visitor center. It makes sense. I guess. Hmm? Something the matter? Um, I was wondering. Should I ask me a favor? Huh? And this bottle of 40, don't ask. <laughs> This is the address of a famous lawyer. He's he's carrying a good bottle for me. <laughs> My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said he she said he holds some family reserves, as it were. She said I was ever in trouble. I should call him. He's a, he's aged nicely. I need it real now. <laughs> yes, he has a microbrewery in the cellar. <laughs> and well, I'm in trouble. Do you think you go and ask him to represent me? Hmm. Ah, uh, sure, why not? <laughs> I'll go ask. Better bow! Thank you so much. I have no one else to turn to. Huh? Well, except for whiskey, of course. <laughs> what about your parents, though? Do they know you drink? <laughs> well, they, they are the ones who have obviously started her on the path. Uh, I see. They were alcoholics and must have died horrifically in a car crash. Don't worry, leave it to me. You're there, they channel. You're there, they talk to the wrong spirit while drunk. Thank you. Trials tomorrow at 10 a.m. At 10. Not 10 a.m. <laughs> tomorrow? She didn't specify. Tomorrow? What if this guy refuses? They told me if, if they don't find one to stay, will pick me in the turn to defend me. I also had the right to remain silent, but I, straight, I straightly refused to do that. Obviously, what will that happen? They're coming until 4 p.m. this afternoon. Visiting hours are almost up. I'd better hurry. Right, I'll be back. You better know how to teleport. Oh, sure, don't worry. Uh, to the Grossberg! Yay! September 6th, Grossberg Law Offices. Look at that look at that elephant in the background. I That's know. an elephant, right? Like to the right, like next to the globe. That looks more like a bear with a fish in its mouth. Uh, it's it's a blurry end of my screen. <laughs> the fish sort of looked like a trunk. Hmm. She couldn't say when he'd be back. It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not too much to run an office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. Or you know, <coughs> peep around the office. A table for clients. Look everywhere. Is that a golden flask? Look at M&E case. I'm mistaken. That light... A solid gold... Okay, it ain't a drinking <laughs> flask, but it's a fucking lighter. When I can tell someone's... I mean, alcohol's alcohol. Who knows? It might be a lighter fueled by pure ethanol. Oh, God. An expensive potted plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but probably the most expensive one available. It looks like a palm tree waiting to grow. Actually, it looks like one of those... Uh... Those weaved, have, you, have you seen those like weaved potted plants? You have like several like uh, twigs. No, they it planted in a, in soil, but it's like they have weaved the uh, the branches together or something like that. I That's very not... fancy, by the way. Hmm. Wood's well, been polished to a deep luster. Mahogany. A fancy chair. It turns into mahogany bookshelves filled with expensive looking books. Hmm. Funny. They don't ever like they've ever been read. This man does not read. 
And it doesn't even point out of the fucking thing. You know what? Her painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The oil painting is so thick, it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. Oh god. I'm not sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either, for that matter. Ugh. Sneeze, Dane. You know you want to. Give in to the dark side. No. <laughs> You'll feel so much better afterwards. No. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Is there anything else to examine over here? Examine the desk. Bookshelf. No. Have you looked at a globe and bear? Wait, what? Maybe the globe and the bear is something? No, that's part of the bookshelf. No, no. Alright, well, I'm the one needed here. Back to the detention center. Hey! Uh, what is it? Did you meet the lawyer? Sorry, I haven't seen him yet. I see. Hmm. We're gonna see if I can find this elite lawyer she's talking about. I just went there. Well, back in the I go. You want a hint? I was actually gonna go. check over here first. Afterwards, the office is filled with police officers. I mean, it's it's the only logical choice. They're all busy searching for clues. Hey, you there! This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Um. Sorry, don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? No, no, Phoenix right. How can I want to mistake me for Larry? Do you not see this hair? Well, you were butting into the office. <laughs> Guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. The butts guy, he was a killer, and you're no killer. Right. He was proven innocent. I'm right. And you were... You know what? Sweet Shoes! You are Detective Sweet Shoes. Sweet Shoes, wasn't it? That's me! Sweet don't, Shoes. Don't step on my blue Sweet Shoes! Wait! That's a song, pal! <laughs> my name's Detective Dick Gumshoe. Wait! That's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal! Detective is my first name, don't you know? Anyway, get the name right! Don't go calling me Dick. Hey. <laughs> hey, Derek, get over here! Yes, sir! Be right there! Uh, um, <clears throat> you're her lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you'd better do it quick! <sighs> he thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. A funny thing when it comes to the word dick. Um, did you know that it is a contraction for Richard? Really? Yes, apparently, like, in the same way William is shortened to Bill, Richard is apparently shortened to Dick. And in Wasteland 2, there's a character that goes by the name of Richard Tugger. Dick Tuckered. No, Tugger, as in T-U-G-G-R-A. -G -G <laughs> so, Dick Tugger. Oh, that, that's just bad. Corduroy Stricter, yeah. pal! Who's that? Old movie poster. Apparently, this is the first movie that made me a cry when she saw it. I want to check it out one of these days. I can't tell what movie it is, but I'm interested. It looks like Payday to me. Perfectly clean, as always. The only thing it's missing is Mia. Womp womp. The sky is blue, and so am I. There's that hotel right across the way. Okay, Louie. Are, are, are the trees green as well? <laughs> There's a horrendous amount of legal books here. Scary still is that Mia probably read all of these. Probably. <laughs> Let's talk. Mia! How's you doing? About Miss Faye. Did you do an autopsy? <clears throat> you want to know the result, eh? Uh, I mean, yes. No! Don't you look at me like that, pal! It's no use! She might have been your boss, but- It's no the... use! <laughs> it's no use! You have activated my trap card! Rejection! <laughs> no, he's, he's still... He's still with the hedgehog. <laughs> it's no use! <laughs> but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. Alright, alright. You can see the report. That's all! 
Death was instantaneous. Autopsy report out of it. Nice. Um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you aren't going to win. Why do you say that? The city's put the city's put prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth. May I say? I'm not sure you know what that means, you being a lawyer and all. Uh, who is Edgeworth again? Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, you do know him, don't you? Uh. Of course yeah. you do. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure I don't. I mean, he is the. I mean, he's basically like the most famous prosecutor ever, being a prodigal adopted son of uh, of Von Karma. Chances are you've heard of him. But in reality, I'm being a dick and I'm insulting Dick Gumshoe. <laughs> you never heard of him. <laughs> you call yourself a lawyer, pal? About four years ago, this Edgeworth guy became a prosecutor at the age of 20! Everyone says he's a genius. I'm surprised you don't know him. Of course I know him. I'm just playing dumb. See? <laughs> That's what I was saying. Like, he... Like, if, 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 you're, if you're a lawyer or a prosecutor, you either, you, you either know... Uh, you either know Edgeworth or you're under a rock. Uh, it's, a, it's a good thing Nick understands he's he's playing a dick. He's a cold, heartless machine who'll get who'll do anything to get a guilty verdict. Uh, rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost unknown passion. I never imagine I'd be facing him so soon. I need to uh, make a paladin called Miles Edgeworth. All right. Well, I think that's it. Back to Grossberg. Nope. Detention center. I mean. Nope. Give him the note. Give Gumshoe the note. I know. I just wanted to see if there's anything else. Well, I was wondering. Did you see Maya pay his cell phone? Oh, that. I have that. Do you think you can give it back? Sure. Let me wait a second, pal. You tricky lawyer. Uh -oh. He's on to me. Tell him. <laughs> You know, he's on to me! I'm a lie to his face. Okay, I can't be straight with this guy. Well, what should I tell him? Is something the he's matter? No, uh, no. Um, that carry strap on that cell phone. This? Mm -hmm. It says, Steel Samurai, Warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. The Steel Samurai. That action hero on TV? Yeah, you see that strap is a collector's item. She I was worried it might get lost and went down to the precinct. Is that what she said? Um, yes. Hmm. Okay, pal. I wrote out all the numbers she called anyways. Here you go. It seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. Okay. Check the court record to hear the recorded conversation. I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. You're all done, pal. Uh, yeah, thank you. I'll be headed out now. No, wait! One more thing I want to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to the witness. Anyway, you'd better not. No influencing the witnesses with your loyalty ways, pal. <sighs> Come to think of it, I have completely forgotten about her. The witness? Yeah, Miss April May. I'm sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name. Miss May, huh? So you've sent her home already, then? Ha! You're trying your loyalty tricks on me now! She's not to go outside until her room until the trial! So, she's still in the hotel across the way. I guess I should know better than to try and get a detective to leak information. Got that right, pal. Zing! <laughs> Time to pay a visit to Miss May. Gum should try takedown. Failed miserably. Took recoil, recoil damage anyways. <laughs> it's September 6th. Game water hotel. Room 303. Yay. Well, hello there, handsome. You know, I wasn't going to ask you to do her, but fine. <laughs> um, hi. Smooth, right? Real smooth. You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say anything to that lawyer, pal. <laughs> Remember this all. Thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. 
Gee. <laughs> Gee. This is all like something out of a movie. It's so exciting. I can barely contain myself. Oh, let me go freshen up so I can look part of the beautiful eyewitness. Is, is there a button that helps... That helps hide this thing? Nope. I mean, you're using OBS, right? You could just pull up. Uh, you could just pull up some uh, images to just put over, isn't it? You're not wrong, but still, I just wanted to remove the thing. I'm pretty the lawyer that has a cross examine this one. Examine the room. What is this mysterious blue thing? There's a screwdriver stuck in this room. What's inside? Let's take a look. <laughs> hey! Hey! What are you doing? N no touching! Twitch, twitch. Oh, bad boy. You shouldn't be prying into other people's rooms now. Mission failed! Oh, just get him next time. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought she was going to explode for a second there. I wonder what could be inside the drawer. Ahem. Uh, champagne. Late summer sunlight streams through the window. Fan Co. Office, Co. Office building, of course. This is the inside of the room pretty clearly from here. I think it would be a little difficult to recognize a face from this distance, though. Uh, movie poster. Ah, a still, a still scene painting. Wait, should that be still life? Whatever. One of those is hanging on the wall. It's like stop caring about it. The flowers are fake. It was expected. I know some flowers and tulips, but that's about the extent of my floral knowledge. Let's see, uh... The screwdriver again! Hmm, what's inside, I wonder? <laughs> <coughs> Maybe later! <laughs> Alright then. What about this room? I see there are two glasses on the table. Is someone staying here with you? Oh, what an amazing- what, am what amazing powers of observation! You must be one of those famous detectives like on television. Oh no, not me, I'm uh, just a liar. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go looking, looking, looking for clues in the garbage? Hmm? You're a bitch already. That's my deduction. Miss May don't like, uh, doesn't like nose of the, Miss May doesn't like nose of little lawyers. Hmm. Oh boy. All right. Uh, could you? It's just exactly who are you? Oh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? <laughs> no! Hey, I'm just doing my job here. <laughs> you know, you're cute when you're blushing. Believe me, this is the first time in life I've blushed this much. Uh, <laughs> I mean, anyone will probably blush so much when someone's practically exploding their cleavage just to try and get their way, bitch. It gets worse. All right, can you just... Tell me what it is you do. Well, I sit at a window, become eye candy. No, tee hee. <laughs> you have to do your little. Uh, I had your hopes up, didn't I? Oh boy. Alright, what have you witnessed? Do you think you'd tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Oh, observe. Incident? You sound just like a lawyer in the movies. What are you, a movie connoisseur? No, to be fair, a lot of people like a lot of people like movies. Well, only I mean, the guilty like movies. That's where they get their ideas from, don't you know? <laughs> I like a man with a big vocabulary. Um, that's not encourage her. I need a drink. You know that thing that occurred. Um, <laughs> happened the other day? The bad thing? What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it. Please, please. Let me see. Um, well... Dream on! A dream on! A dream on! Dream on! Applied directly to the forehead. Dream on! Applied directly to the forehead. A dream on! Okay, enough of that. I'm gonna hurt people's ears. Well, well if you want to know... You'll just have to come to court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh boy. Alright. 
Let's see. Give it a badge. Give it a badge. I'll show it Actually, back. Actually, I'm... <coughs> Excuse me? But I'm a wi I'm, but I'm witness. Police witness? You understand? No, I don't. Also, how could I possibly give you any information on, uh, on good conscience? Me, the witness. Just like in the movies. I hate you already. Also, show her, show her the phone. Trust me on this one. Uh, oh damn it! I thought, I thought this was. Oh wait, never mind. I was thinking of, I was thinking of something later. Never mind. All right. Well, I don't like it. Hmm. Seems like Mr. Oh, Osberg well. is out. Well, maybe I should just wait here for him to come back. <coughs> that wasn't the most over-the-top clearing of the throat I've ever heard. Hmm. Ha ha! So you're uh, so you're the one who's been looking for me. Uh, yes, that's me. He looks even grander than I imagined. Twirling my mustache. <laughs> the badge on your collar. Ah, so you're a lawyer, are you now? Yes. Uh -huh. Well, yes. And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please, proceed. Not busy? How come no one can get in touch with you? Hmm, something to matter. Then you came to see the one and only Mar Marvin Grossberg, didn't you not? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out with it. Um, well, Tally well, and whatnot. <laughs> Actually, it's about Maya. Maya Faye. Hmm. Ah, yes, Maya Faye. Go on. Hmm? Why the strange reaction? <coughs> cha cha. Oh, I'm really quite busy here, son. I can't. Um, I can't go taking cases on on a day's notice. No, it's it's quite impossible. Wait a second. You just got back here. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? <coughs> Uh, anyways, I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry, end of discussion. What's going on here? He refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. I thought I tell Maya. You know what? I'm not done here. Tell me, how can you just refuse like that? Please, tell me why won't you take the case? Hmm? <coughs> well, uh, you just see I'm, um, I'm busy, you see. Client is Mia Faye's sister. Hmm. Um. Mm. I trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes. Of course, I know that. I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I just must refuse. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Creep. Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anywhere. I'll go looking elsewhere. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Think not. Huh? Did you say something? I think not, I said. Dude, what? You're not intimidated by this fucking hair? What do you mean? <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Wright, but this this coat is piercing resistant. Your, your hair holds no power over me. Curses. Your fat precedes you. <laughs> I'm afraid there's no lawyer worth their salt that will take this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I I cannot say. I beg your pardon, but could you leave now? I've no more. F I have nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? Wait, wait, wait! Hold on. I have the answer. It's because of. Oh, I can't present him. Damn it! Nah. No, no, I can. Oh, I can't present evidence. God damn it! No. How did you know Mia Faye? Why did you suddenly cheer up? She worked here a long time ago. She made the greatest you know, be <laughs> before she died. <laughs> quite, quite the chef that one. <laughs> Learned, Learned all techniques in the blink of an eye. She knew how to flip flipping. That <laughs> she knew how to flip that quarter pounder exactly five seconds in the air. The flip techniques, the press for frying, 
She, uh, she left one day quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. <laughs> to start up a successful... <laughs> to start up a successful chain of burger restaurants across Neo Tokyo. Her... the name? Well, <laughs> she didn't say, but I can only imagine it was probably something terrible. I could see it in her eyes. She had the hunger. She fought him with a burning passion, just the way she flame broiled those burgers. This, this spatula she used was perfect <laughs> in a way. You know, I wasn't quite this swelt. I, I wasn't always quite this swelt. That painting. <laughs> ah, she noticed. It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? Is, is that grease I smell coming from it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the weave of the straw hat. <laughs> the memories it's of worth at least years. three billion. I have no intention of passing this, of course. Of course. No, I won't be selling it. Not even to you. <laughs> you, random person I've never seen before in my life. I wasn't interested. It's not for sale! I'm not buying! Jeez! <laughs> that, was a, that was a lovely tangent, wasn't it? <laughs> that was! It's September 6th, 3.42pm, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Hiya! Oh, you're back! Did you find the lawyer? Yeah, he smelled of grease and, uh... I don't know, I think the smell stuck to me for a bit. What do I tell her? Well, see, just to be honest, I I really don't think well, you should use that guy. Your sister may have started Wendy's. He didn't seem healthy. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> <laughs> he was all skin and bones! The bones! What really happened? You know what I mean? He refused to help. Oh, no, he totally, uh... He totally couldn't. I see. I've been abandoned then. I'm all alone, with nearly a drop, to soothe my worries. Phone, phone, phone. Fine, fine. Hey, I got your cell phone back. Oh, say. Can I listen to my sister's voice? It totally won't just bring me that further into the darkness, you know? Ah, fine. My eyes closed. She listened to every word with such intensity as Mia talked about the burger chain restaurant she was intending to start from her lawyering world. Before long, <laughs> tears began to roll down her cheeks. Thank you. You reminded me of the, pu of the possible future she was trying to create with burgers. So, tell me about the day of the crime. <clears throat> Sorry, I know it must be hard. I mean, it's always hard to think when it's on an empty stomach. I'm pretty sure you haven't eaten. Are they even feeding you here? No, it's okay. I come with some sloppy jaws and back. Well, those I'll aren't be, I've, been, uh, I've been doing the last few hours. Uh, all I've been doing for the, last, for the past few hours is talking about it. I've kind of um, gotten used to it. Let's see, that morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on a piece of evidence for the upcoming trial. That's the thing of that Larry made. He practically qualifies as a serial murderer right now. <laughs> so then, when did you arrive at the office? I was right around nine. The lights were off and I could smell blood. I could smell shite. Then I found her, my sister. Thankfully there are no shit stains. <laughs> Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. Uh, no, can you can we contact you about anyone of your family who can do this? Someone who could talk to your sister from the grave? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young. He, he drunk something that he drunk tequila. <laughs> Instead of the regular <laughs> spirits. Wood alcohol, he went blind. <laughs> I, don't 
And I don't know where my mother is. Don't know? So she could still be alive? Uh, tell me about your mother! The women in the family have been mediums for... Have, uh, the women in my, in my family have been mediums for generations. They've been medium rare for generations. Yes. Let's say lots of spiritual power runs in the blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. A grilling incident. That cook, he, he... <laughs> he ruined my mother's life. He started up the golden ashes. He made her burger. Well done! Now the horror! <laughs> I think we're going too far with this tangent. She disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced that she, uh, she would become a lawyer and then she left the mountain. You know, the mountains in, in Los Angeles. So, you live by yourself? Yeah, I got me used to it. I got a room to keep me company. I call it Scruffy. I had, to become an, I, had to go, I had to become independent or I'd lose my power. I feel bad for her. All by herself, up on that mountain. Your mother's enemy. Well, not really. Not really all by herself, but she's, she is surrounded by enemies. That's true. True. So who was this man who um, ruined your mother? Who made her that well-done burger? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. Murder case. It was quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium rare, did they? <laughs> the police convinced my mother to try, try to convict one of, try to, uh, contact to, one of the victims. <laughs> try to convict the victim. <laughs> yes. So what happened? Oh, wow, that was fucked up. The case was solved. The victim was convicted. Just as oh, we yeah. thought. You thought. The man number that helped uh, the police capture was, was innocent. The police consultation with the medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. Of course! But a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers my mother was a fraud, but the media jumped at it big time. She liked her burgers. Perfectly. She could nearly go. She could nearly go onto Facebook no more, couldn't she? She oh. was. She was ruined socially. She. She was being talked about by all those social justice warriors. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. They had to block her Twitter, you know. Excuse White. Me. White. That was his name. My sister told me. White. Hmm. It's after longer now before the state-appointed lawyer uh, comes, I guess. Hmm. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? No. Game over. Yeah. Uh, all right. I'm sure that I'm sure that you, you're in good hands. Bye, Maya. Just Actually, kidding. I think there's a game over today. I think there's a game over today if you go home there. I'm pretty sure, but I don't want to get it. But I made up my mind. You aren't wasting no more time, so here you go again. I'm going to defend you whether you like it or not, Maya. Why? Why? I never I asked know. you. Well, obviously it's because I don't know why. <laughs> yes. I'm going to do it. To be honest, I don't know. You don't know? Is this girl sitting in front of me, the killer? All the others seem to say yes, but there's something about this whole thing that smells fishy. The well, witness's strange well, behavior. Yeah. Was that all an act? And the way that lawyer refused to help out Maya. But more than all that, she has no one left to help her. Nothing is more sad or more lonely than that. Lonely? I've been there a long time ago. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. Obviously. There's only one thing I know for certain. I won't abandon you. You can count on me and my glorious, glorious spiky hair. 
That's a candy. Just don't stand behind me, I swear to god. My hair tends to act out on its own instead of people in the eye a few times. I, I tend to I tend to uh, get whiplashed a lot, so if you stand behind me, you will get punctured. <laughs> I use three cans of fucking hair gel on this. Well, <coughs> let's fight this one and get you out of here. I gotta go get prepared. My fourth can's coming in. Right, today. thank you. Honestly, I would I would imagine that uh, I would imagine that Phoenix uses rubber cement rather than hair gel. It's more permanent that way. <laughs> Honestly, I I would not expect otherwise. She smiled at last. She looks like an entirely different person. Hold on a second. Is she a killer instead? One last question. <laughs> you are innocent, right? Yes. Uh, I trust you. C kinda. Just. Do you trust me too, okay? Don't go back on me! Look, look, I like- Don't forget me! Look, look, look. If we want to be honest, I like my burgers rare. It's a deal. <laughs> so, what next? There's something that's been bugging me. Just what was inside a stra that strange woman's drawer? It was when I tried to look into the drawer that she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. Alright. Uh, time to move. But yeah, uh, huh. you, you know one thing. One thing's for sure when it comes to uh, when it comes to Maya. If she turns out being the killer, at least we'll have fun with it because oh. there will be a small medium at large. <laughs> That's bad. Excuse me. Good afternoon, sir. <laughs> you are. Ah, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment. At your service, sir. Oh, right. I've just come up to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Ah, I believe our guest Miss May is currently using uh, the um, facilities. She's taking a shit. Got it. If you have no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Wait. No. Hey. God damn it. <laughs> Why does it seem like? Come everybody... back here. Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? That man had cookies. Wait! That's my chance to snoop around a bit. Ah! Ah, I almost forgot. <laughs> you came back quick! <laughs> might, I, might I ask you to inform you, Miss May, that. Um, <clears throat> might I. Uh, might I ask you to inform Miss May that there's another message for her? Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned. Oh, right, sure. That's right. Blue Corp? Where have I heard that name? In the intro, of course. Well, obviously. That was his name. My sister told me. White was the name of the guy who ruined me and my mother. Could it be a coincidence? Oh! There's a screwdriver sticking out of a half open door. Now it's my chance to see what's inside! What do we have here? A fire tap? Huh. What am I going to do with a thing like this? Right. Oh, you know, just spy on the bellboy. Obviously. There's definitely something more suspicious about this Miss May. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? The story behind all this. I know it! Alright. I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial. That's for sure. For my sake. Uh -huh. I'll get to this woman's bottom. Wait. Let me. Do you know what I mean, <laughs> God? Uh -huh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh boy. It's still I there. I look forward to tangling with you tomorrow, Miss May. In court. Shh. Jump out the window. <laughs> I'll be prepared to wear my flannel shirt. All right. Saving. So you... I have but one question. Do you want to take Edgeworth or should no, I? No, please. I need someone to have banter for back and forth with. <laughs> I'll, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, take, asked... I'll take the judge. Because everyone knows you need to have a bit of a gruff voice to be at the judge. Objection <laughs> 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 overruled. All right. But yeah, um, you want... I think I've got about like half an hour to an hour. You know what? Yeah, let's go. Let's continue. Let's do. Let's do the day two's court case.
September 7th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number one. It's sudden death. Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Ah. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Miles Edgeworth. I better not show any signs of weakness today. I hope you aren't being innocent. Mr. Edgeworth, please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The, defen the defendant, Miss Maya Fay, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she has committed this murder. And we have a witness who saw her do it. The prosecution sees no reason uh, to doubt the fact of this case, Your Honor. I see. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin then. <laughs> Court adjourned. Guilty! Alright, I'll, I'll see you all later for Sunday brunch. <laughs> if I may call our first witness, Your Honor. The prosecution calls the chief uh, chief officer of the scene, Detective Gumshoe. All right, remember you're taking Gumshoe in this one since you want to be the bumbling fool. Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Sir, <clears throat> my name is Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of the homicides and the sir. <laughs> ah. Detective Gumshoe. Please describe for us the details of this murder. Very well then, sir. Well, I'll just let me use this format here to of the office to explain. The body was found in the window here. See, and a cause of death, and a cause of death. Lots of blood didn't be struck by blood objects, sir. The murder weapon was a statue of the thinker. Next, far, far next to the body, sir. Also, I have the object enough to be uh, enough to be a deadly weapon, even for even the girl's hand, sir. And if the court accepts the statue as evidence, they're still calling it a statue. Court plans added to the court record. Now, detective. Y y yes, sir. You immediately arrested Maya Fay, who was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Well, sir, we had ha I had hard evidence since she did it, sir. Hmm. Detective Gumshoe, please testify to the court about this hard evidence. Someone tells me right, this paint paper. Sir. <laughs> As soon as the phone start, uh, as soon as the phone ca uh, phone call came, I rushed to the scene. There was two people there already: the defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mister Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Mister Maya Fay. Why? We had eye uh, eyewitness description. Uh, eyewitness described. Uh, <laughs> we had an eyewitness account describer. The witness saw Miss Maya Fay at the moment, very moment of the murder. Hmm. The very moment, you say? Very well, Mr. Wright. You may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> Cross-examine what? I couldn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. Whoosh. <laughs> Smack! Smack! <laughs> I just threw something at me. What's this? When her sister couldn't find any contradictions in the witness's testimony, she would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. The witness always slips up and says something wrong. It worked lots of times. <laughs> I wish she would have expected Maya would know some of her sister's she, tricks. She is one, one fast writer. She is. Like, seriously. In that brief what I mean, was it, ten seconds, she wrote all that. I mean, she she calling herself a medium, but honestly, I'm uh, I'm convinced that she's half printer. I'm definitely agreeing with on that. She's half printer, quarter medium, and quarter medium rare. Something the better. Yay! No, Your Honor, I'd like to begin my cross examination. I find Miss Maya Fay guilty of littering in the courtroom. All right, don't need this. Don't need that. 
I think what I need to press... Press! Hold, Hold on just, it! Hold on just one second! Yeah? If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence she did it, correct? Uh-huh. Uh, did, did I say that? Me? I heard you say it. You did say it. You did say it. Exactly. What about the suspicious woman in pink claim was hard evidence? Well, I'm not going to see. Miss May is suspicious and she surely isn't pink, pal. Well, I guess she is pink. That's enough, Detective Gumshoe. Do you have any more solid proof other than her claims, Detective? Uh. <laughs> I guess pressing can have its advantages. Oh yeah. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I got my orders mixed. I got my, got all the mixed up. Um, I got the order of things mixed up in my testimony. I, I, right, sir. I accidentally ordered fries in my witness testimony. <laughs> there was something I should tell you, but uh, there was something I should tell you about. Uh, <coughs> there was something I should have told you about first, Your Honor, sir. Well, yeah. sir. Very well, Detective. Let's hear your testimony again. Hard evidence. After secure the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my, with my very own eyes and papers, as they were. I was papered, and I found this memo lying on the ground next to Reckon's body in paper. On it, the word Maya was clearly written in blood. Lab results show that there was blood is the victim's. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. That is bad, detective. I already know. Oh, do you like that? That's my hard evidence. <laughs> hmm. Before we begin cross-examination, I have a question for you, Detective Dick. Your Honor? Why did you testify the vital piece of information the first time? Ugh, I'm, uh, um, you know, I'm, I'm real embarrassed about forget, have, I haven't forgotten it, sir, Your Honor, sir. Try to be more careful! Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. I warn you, Detective, if you order chicken nuggets in this testimony, you will be thrown out of the court! I will have your ass for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. The, um, the court case right after this one. Um, it is Dick Gumshoe v, v the courtroom. Dick Gumshoe stands uh, stand to be in the offense of having ordered chicken nuggets to be <laughs> delivered into the courtroom. Uh. Yeah. Gumshu is a tragic character. If you look upon it like the entirety of his uh, of his uh, storyboard, as it were. Oh yeah, definitely. Before she died. I mean, if I could just mention about something like uh, like there's a game with Edgeworth as the uh, Edgeworth Investigations, like a oh. spin-off game. I I remember playing and... that. I loved it. Yeah. That, get... Gumshu is always the butt of the joke of that one. Like he gets his salary cut every so often. To be fair, that's that's probably because he fucks with the crime scene a little bit more than he intends to. Detective Gumshu. Well, there's one thing I want you to clarify for me here. You say that the victim, Miss Mia Fay, wrote this. <laughs> Miss Maya Fay wrote this note <laughs> that she was accusing the defendant, Maya Fay. That's really what you're saying? What? That isn't one of the law. This is one of your lawyer tricks, is it? I mean, it's like it's like Jedi's, right? Of course you wrote it. Who else would have done it? You have it backwards, detective. Backwards. Turns around. <laughs> the victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. This is a report from your department, detective. Immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. She died immediately. But. No butting your way out of this one, Detective! Order! Order! The defense has a point! Someone who died immediately wouldn't have had the time to write anything down. Actually, Judge, the, the, the defense has several points. Look at his hair! 
Mr. Wright, I beg your pardon, but when exactly do we obtain these autopsy reports? When? Day after the murder, obviously. The prosecution's point being? That autopsy report is outdated, Your Honor. What? A second autopsy was performed yesterday at my request. Death was almost immediate due to the blow from the blunt object. But there is possibility the victim live it happening for several minutes after the blow. I received this result this morning. No way! Yes way. Sorry. Your Honor, there's quite, uh, it's quite easy to imagine that the victim did have time to write my affair. That is all. I see! Damn you, Edgeworth. I should have known you'd have something up your sleeve. Why, Mr. Wright, you look shocked. Something you want to say? Have you been wronged, as it were? <laughs> Actually, yes, I have something to say. Your detective's a sham! <laughs> oh, God, it's breaking up. <laughs> it's breaking up. That, that was my fault. It's on Edgeworth. Stabilize things. Stabilizing. Ah. Detective uh, okay, Gumshoe. Uh, I'm disappointed in you. Handle, uh, handing him the wrong report like that. I'm gonna have to dock your pay. Um, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. You are at fault, detective. <laughs> this is going to look good in our, uh, Disney is going to look good in, on, on your evaluation next month. What? But... but uh. Your Honor, I submit this report to the court. Understood. The court accepts the evidence. Only for a few minutes after being hit. Well, Your Honor... The evidence strongly suggests that the victim was identifying the killer. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion, yes. Damn. I take my leave. This isn't good. The prosecution would like to call its next witness. This poor, innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. Hmm. Let the witness, Miss April May, take the stand. Exactly, what part what? of her is innocent? Do you want me to continue with the titillation, or do you want to take over this one? Well, you took over the last one, so I'll take over her. Prepare to have your ears lead. <laughs> Witness, your name, please. April May, at your service. <laughs> Order! An introduction should not require any reaction from the crowd. The witness will refrain from wanton weeping. Aw, yes, Your Honor. This is not good. She's already captured the heart of every man in this courtroom. Tell us, where were you on the night of September to December 5th when the murder occurred? December? Edgeworth, you're three months off. <laughs> September. Um, gee, I was like, in my hotel room? <laughs> I checked in right after lunch. And this hotel is directly across from Fay and Co. law offices? Mm, that's right, big boy. Please testify to the court about what you saw. And please, no winking or jostling your titties. Wanton winking or flashing of the crowd. It was like nine at night. I looked out the window, you know? And then, oh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Then the woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away. But that girl, she caught up to her and... and... she hit her! 
then the woman with the long hair, she kind of slumped. The end. That's all I saw. Every little bitsy witsy. <laughs> Every little bitsy witsy. <laughs> you obviously have already done a disservice to the court by winking. Well, your honor. I see. It is a remarkably solid testimony. I don't see a need to trouble the witness any. Wait, your honor. Yes, Mr. Wright. What about my cross-examination? I thought the witness's testimony just now was quite firm. Didn't you? You had enough time to to cross-examine, uh, cross-examine her while she was standing there, wiggling about, as it were. <laughs> but you're right. I understand that you were Miss M uh, Maya Fay's understudy, were you not? You must know her techniques well. Her cowardly way of finding tiny faults in perfectly good testimonies. You know, actually doing the job. Hey, how dare you? Well, Mr. Wright, we you cross-examine the witness? Yes, I'm obviously doing it. I'll gladly proceed with my cross-examination. No, Walk out the room. <laughs> if only because I have a feeling Edward doesn't want me to. She has to have some weakness. Very well. You're very good in your cross-examination. No, that's that. That music's not here. Hold on a second. Remember, you can inspect stuff, I believe. Can I? Don't say. I, can. I do believe there should be. Uh, I could have sworn there was there was maybe I'm maybe thinking of a different game or a different version. Probably. Why did you do that? Huh? Why? Like, why what? Why don't you look out the window? Are you expecting to see something? Oh, well, um... Gee! Oh, that's it? She can't get out this question that easily. Nice sort of, you know... <laughs> flash my titties. Wait, what about this about? I had a feeling. Well, now I have a feeling she's trying to avoid the question. Maybe we should press a little harder on this one? Go for it! Let's see how far I can run with this. Surely, you must have had a reason to look out your window at the time of night. Night! No! You squeezed the information good. Mr. Wright, I will not have you badgering my witness. B badgering You're taking a hole. I insist, uh, I insist, I insist on you needling her with, uh, wait, you insist on needling her with these trivial questions. I really don't think that should be allowed. Yeah, yeah, stop him! The poor girl! Order! Mr. Wright, you have been warned. Poor girl? What about poor me? You looked out the window. What did you see? Hmm. I'm trying to figure this out. If you want a hint, I have a vague uh, idea of what to press. Nah, I just I'm gonna keep pressing each one. Well, that's that's basically it. You can press for free. Yeah, press three. One with long hair. That was Mia Fey. Uh huh. Slender, sort of. Well, some people might say pretty. That's your thing. Your thing. And the person attacking her. Hold it. How do you know she was the defendant? Huh? Well, you know, she had girlish physiques. Women know these things. Look, I just know, okay? There was only one person at the scene of the crime. The short, girlish figure. Oh, but this short, girlish figure. The testimony's bullet proof, Your Honor, was a small, medium at large. I question it. Hold on a minute. That testimony stinks. What? Miss May, I'm willing to bet that. I'm willing to bet that you saw nothing. Did you really see the defendant at all? <laughs> Mr. Wright, well, what's the meaning of this? Yeah, what is this? What is this meaning? Somebody tell me because I'm clueless. About this, I mean. Okay. 
If you had really witnessed my client, Mia Fei, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. No one wears clothes like this on a daily basis, except her! And I'm no expert on fashion, but I'm but her hairdo looks far from normal to me. However, the witness's testimony mentions neither of these things. The testimony is bogus! But but Still, we don't know if she was dressed that way the night of the murder. She was, Your Honor. I saw her. And so did Detective Gumshoe. What do you say to that, Miss May? Ah, what are you trying to say, you mean lawyer? I, I saw what I saw. I just didn't think all the trifling little details were necessary, darling. Miss May, the court would like to remind you to please omit nothing in your testimony. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'll be a good girl, I promise. What on weaking his trials for... Your testimony again, if you would. Guilty! I almost had her. Oh god, well, I would I would love to see an animation of the uh, judge with a gavel having ex having an extendable handle. Whenever a, whenever a witness is out of order, just extend the hammer out, bonk him on the head. That's perfect. I did see everything. I, I did. <laughs> oh god, you take the power pole from from Goku and just uh, add a little hand bit on the end. Power pole, extend, bonk. It'd be perfect. The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran up to the right. Then the girl in hippie clothes ran after her. And she hit her with that weapon! I saw it! I did! That that clock, um, kind of statue clock, the thinker, I think. Well, does the accuracy of a report not startle you? <laughs> I see. I only wish you had been so detailed from the beginning. Please begin the cross-examination. Shwing. Hmm. Dodge the first attack and ran up to the right. I am a press it, obviously. Is that right as in your right as you looked from the hotel? Um, which hand do I hold my knife in again? <laughs> right! It was my right hand, right? Satisfying Mr. Right. Right. <laughs> Please continue. <laughs> she hit her with the weapon. I saw it. I did. Mm. I'm a press. Where does this weapon come from? She picked it up from the desk. What sort of weapon was it? Hold on. How does she know it was a clock? A clock? Didn't this come up in another testimony recently? Sorry, sorry, you can't win them all. No, but I have a feeling I'm onto something now. Yes, you are. I will present money. Objection! Miss May. What you said just now was quite revealing. Revealing? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you, naughty Mr. Lawyer? You just said that this statue of the thinker was a clock. But there's no way of knowing that just by looking at it. Another person in much the same position as you recently called this a clock too. And he was found guilty of murder. Murder. Order! Order! Miss May, can you explain how you know this was a clock? No. Oh. Objection! The witness saw the murder hit with their own eyes. That's all the important here. The defense is trying to confuse the issue with trivial concerns. Yes, yes, of course. You will withdraw your question, Mr. Wright. Objection. I think not. But questions are all I have, Your Honor. And as you may recall, I've caught murderers with these questions before. Well, Objection sustained. You may continue to question the witness. Whew, that was close. If he stopped me there, the trial would be over. Huh? What? So, what happens now? What happens now is you answer my question. Did you, how did you know it was a clock? What? That's... Because I heard it? Yeah, I heard it say the time. So, you've been to the law offices of Fay & Co.? No, hey, I didn't say that. Why would I go there? I heard it from my hotel room. <laughs> the law office is a fan code. Where the murder took place is very close to the hotel. She could easily have heard the clock. Hmm, well, Mr. Wright, are you satisfied? No, not at all. No, Your Honor. I can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because... She couldn't have heard it. You were at the hotel. 
There's no way you could have heard the cut. Uh, I think I might have fucked up with that one. No, no. Nope. Whoops, I pressed X too fast. Uh. Well, technically they're both. They're technically both correct, but, uh. It's semantics, really. Yeah. Anyways, it's on you. Oh. <laughs> you've been, uh, you've, you've just been, uh, hijacking, uh, Edgeworth the last, like, three or four times, so... I'm, I'm sorry, I, got, I was getting a moment. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you were, you were getting into it, so I was just let you, let, yeah, letting you go with the flow. Listen to me, listen to me, Mr. Wright. In the courtroom, proof is everything. Without it, you have nothing. You are nothing. Then I would like to propose a test to see if she really could have heard. The prosecution denies your request. What? On what grounds? This is a trivial matter with no me with no direct bearing on the case at hand. Hindi! Objection sustained. Damn! Time to switch directions. Quick! Ready to proceed, Mr. Wright? No, Your Honor. I can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because it couldn't have run. Your Honor, members of the court, it is inconceivable that the clock in question rang. For you see, it's empty. That clock is missing its clockwork! <laughs> How could you possibly just take a look right now? Hmm. Oh! See anything interesting, Your Honor? Great googly moogly! It is as the defense says! This clock is missing its clockwork! It's quite empty! Mr. Wright! Would you care to explain to the courtroom the meaning of this? It is as you can see. The clock was empty. It couldn't have rung. Therefore, this witness is a big fat liar! F fat Well, Miss May. Big fat phony! Tisk tisk. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> That's fine. Hmm? Quite, uh, quite a show you put on for us, Mr. Wright. He knew the clock was empty. Somehow, he knew! I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. Indeed, the clock was empty. As you say, it can't ring. However... We must ask, when was the clockwork removed? It, um, if it was after, blah, blah, blah. blah, blah, blah. If I'm it was sorry. after the murder, that's fine. Hmm, that's true. That is a possibility. I, I just have apparently a twitchy thumb right now. <laughs> the clock might have been... I mean, it is tense. She heard it. And that's, the, that's exactly what happened, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Wright... Can you prove when the clockwork was removed? <laughs> Impossible. Impossible, of course. I have proof. What? Wasn't it Inconceivable! You, wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much. The evidence that proves when the clock... Oh, that was you. Never mind. I just, I just saw oh. an edge <laughs> The evidence that proves when the clock was removed is... Oh, I can't... X? Yeah, that's what I told you. Oh, that's because it says check. Okay. So it shows pictures and conversations. Clockwork was yeah, removed. Yeah, so you can check the four It is well. the phone! Take a look at this. Hmm, that's a very cute cell phone. Oh, you have a girly phone. Wait, wait. That was the dialogue I was breaking up earlier. <laughs> this isn't my phone. Listen! This is the defendant's cell phone, and it contains a recording. A recording of a conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder. Order! Order! The defendant's cell phone? This wasn't brought to my attention! Gumshoe! Perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it. Grumble, grumble. That, that, that. The good detective better remember his evaluation soon. 
I gotta say, I'm starting to feel bad for the big fella. Let's hear the conversation. Oh. Beep. It hasn't even begun yet. Oh god. Gumshoe, why? You be Maya, I'll take Mia. <laughs> okay. You you do the Scottish uh, accent so well. I'm pretty sure everyone would love it. So you just want me to hold on to the thinking then for you, then? If you could. Ah, I should probably tell you. The clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working. Ah, that's lame. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. September 5th, 9.27am. Beep. Your Honor, Boop. I think this makes it clear the clockwork was already gone by the time this was recorded. Which was well before the witness even arrived at our hotel! <laughs> well, Miss May, would you care to explain to the, this to the court? Just how did you know that weapon was clock? Well, well, is it obvious? I saw that clock before. Um, what store was that again? I got two. I got so many. Oops, I forgot. <laughs> so the witness had seen it before. That would make sense. Does the defense have any objections, Mr. Wright? Oh, you know I do. Miss claims to she had seen it before, but this directly contradicts a piece of evidence already submitted to this court. Well then, let's see it. Please produce this evidence that will prove that witness had not seen the clock before. Obviously, it's the murder weapon. It's simple. This clock was never in any store. Ever! W what? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world. And the one that isn't here is in police custody. <laughs> Impossible! Everything is sold in stores! Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. <laughs> oh, excuse is not on sale today. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Super Saiyan! The tits bounce. Level up. What's it to you, porcupine head? That stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it, and she should die for it. Die! <laughs> Whoa! Let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is a court of law, and the witness will remain calm. <laughs> Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> silly me! <laughs> did, did I um like lose it? I guess I did. <laughs> She's scary, Miss May. Let me ask. Tell me, how did you know the weapon was a clock? Uh, <sighs> oh dear. Does the defense have an opinion on this behavior? Okay, this is it. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain how I see the truth of the matter. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because... You held it. This is familiar territory. I'll just use the same approach as with Larry. Miss May, <laughs> held that very clock in her hands. Mr. Wright, when was this? When she used it to strike the victim. When else? Order! Order! Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? April May, you killed me a fay, I say. And when you struck, the force of the impact made the thinker ring. That's when you heard it. Oh, God, I fucked it up. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> just, uh, you utter it. You utter imbecile. You are truly a work of art, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I got into the heat. I got into the heat of thoughts. <laughs> Wasn't it, just, wasn't it you that just proved the thinker was empty? Oh, <laughs> of course, it wouldn't ring. What's more, the witness is, uh, has a rock-solid alibi. Miss May, perhaps you could explain to this poor, misguided Mr. Wright that you weren't a hotel at the time of the murder. It. She did it! It would be my pleasure. No way! Yes way, Mr. Lawyer. <laughs> Didn't the murder take place at 9 at night? Gee, that's the exact time I ordered some room service from the Hotel Bellboy. Incidentally, the Bellboy co uh, corroborated the witness's a story. So I was just checking the clock. That's fine. Ergo, 
she was not at a crime scene. Rock solid. Uh, I'm gonna take some deductions for this. You just made a serious accusation against a perfectly innocent woman. Sorry, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't go so well. That's Nothing you said about it. But how did she know the thinker was a clock? Wait! Your Honor, I figured it out. There was one other way Miss April May could have known it was a clock. One way alone, and I have proof. Well, proof, you <laughs> say? Then the court will examine your proof, Mr. Wright. How did the witness know the thinker was a clock? Honestly, if I'm going to be honest, if this happened in a real court of law, I think Mr. Wright would be essentially just arrested on the spot for being uh, being a thief. Either that or like unlawful, unlawful, un unlawful acquisition of evidence. Per perjury and then using said perjury to submit evidence. Have a look at this. <laughs> ah! Oh! <laughs> I found this in Miss May's room. Then again, this is also a system where, like, if the court isn't finished in three days, they essentially just get the death sentence. Yeah, pretty much. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what this is. Miss April May, you were tapping the victim, Miss Mia Fey's phone, were you not? Oh, oh, oh! Objection! Your Honor. Oh, <laughs> go ahead, please. Your Honor, this is irrelevant. I'm not entirely sure that it is. Objection overruled. It troubles me that our witness was in possession of a wiretap. This is outrageous. Does, it, does the defense truly claim that the witness was tapping her phone? Absolutely! Even if that's the case, which it is not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say the weapon was a clock on the phone? Can you prove that? I think not. Oh yeah? I think I can! It's simple! What?! Here's my proof. The proof that the victim said on the phone that the weapon was a clock is... Again. This thing. Yay! The phone! Again! I present the defendant's cell phone. Again. Yes, we've seen that. Listen once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. Beep. Wah, 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 wah. Hey, yeah, what's up? Have, haven't called in a while. Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold on to for me. Again? What is it this time? It's a clock. It's made to look like the statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. Miss April May, I'm, I'm... you used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you know the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? I... Your Honor, this is ridiculous. Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? The defense demands an answer. La La, uh, witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? Miss Mary! Shut up, all of you! What gives you the right to talk to me like that? You, you lawyer! She says that like it's, derog like it's a derogatory term. It's no fair. All of you ganging up on me like that. So I'm the bad girl? Is that it? Is that it? Uh, uh. <laughs> Ah, uh, I can't take that face. I did it. The court's seen the real Miss April May now. Now I'll deal the final blow. Oh, God. Why oh, God. the wiretap? <laughs> Miss May, why did you tap her phone? <laughs> Answer the question. Do I have to? Isn't this a murder trial? Isn't tippy t tippity tapping ir irrelevant? <sighs> She's saying exactly what Edgeworth wants her to say. Miss May. You were tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call it irrelevant. It's an implication at this point. Well, this court does not condone the defense's tone of voice, he has a point. Well, Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court? At the time of the murder, I was in my hotel room getting room service. How could I have killed her? If you don't believe me, just ask the bellboy. Well, does the defense have anything to say? Mm, well, come on, think of something. Call the bellboy. 
The defense would like to call the hotel bellboy as a witness. There's something suspicious I here. Thought... What's up? I thought this. Uh, I thought this section was uh, essentially coming to a close soon, but yeah, I forgot. It's like at least one, one more like cross examination, if not like another one after that as well. Yeah, there's something. But I think like I'm gonna bow. Yeah, I'm gonna bow out here. I've because like yeah, I've got I've got to wake up early tomorrow. I'm already already like over trading my uh, the boundaries right. as it were. All right, uh, I think we're gonna. I I think it is time to call it today's episode here. <laughs> I think you're sucking quite low enough already. I object. To oh, go ahead. It's your last. I call. object to calling. <laughs> I object to calling the bellboy. Why? What's your reason? Because I hold that. Because I hold that wiretapping had nothing to do with the killing. <laughs> However, if you agree to one condition, I will consent to calling the witness. Condition. Yes. If Miss April's if 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 Miss April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy, then you will recognize that Miss April May was not the killer, thus she is innocent. And thereby you must also accept the verdict of guilty for Miss Maya Fay. That is my condition. What? I'd better find something suspicious in the bellboy's testimony. Otherwise, Maya will be declared guilty on the spot. What should I do? All good lawyers know, except the condition. All right, I've got nothing to lose, except for, well, everything. Understood. I accept your condition. Well, here's the thing, Phoenix. You have nothing to lose. You say that, but you'll still walk away with your life even if you fail this one. There will be some times later, though, in your life where you, you will be on, like, literally life and death. Fool. You fell right into my trap card. Uh-oh. Uh, um, wait. <laughs> Very well. The court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. And that... It's a neat enough stopping point. Yep. And that is where we'll call today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed yeah. today's episode. Consider giving it a like. Check out the Patreon down below, and make sure to leave a comment for our dear friend Whale Duck here. We chose not we chose not to stream today just because this is gonna be more fun, because he and I both love Phoenix Wright. So I'll make sure to link his uh, his Twitch down below so you guys can give him a follow. To be fair, I haven't been streaming all that much as of late. I've not been feeling the fire as it were, but uh, who knows? Hey, it still helps to get you followers. Anyways, well, there's the thing. I'm, I'm not, I'm not hungry for followers. That's the thing. It's purely a hobby for me. Anyways, but fair enough. But so, um, I still feel like I'm gonna link it down at the bottom in case, you know, they still want to watch your videos. You're free to do whatever you want. Yeah. Have a good day, everyone. <laughs>